hello everyone in this tutorial we will learn how to download the land cover data let's get started so I have this C file of Nigeria and I want to download the land cover data of Abuja okay or any places around Abuja so what do I do is uh, you open your web browser and go to earth explorer.usgs.gov zoom into that uh, location you want to uh, extract the data in my case is in Nigeria and in Abuja now select the region you want to get the land cover data for example I want to uh, have the land cover data of this region so for that enclose the region uh, by clicking it and you can see uh, that the coordinates appear automatically okay this is one way of uh, enclosing the study area and you can see here that the latitude and longitude they appear automatically the other ways you can uh, add coordinates of your own so if you know the latitude and longitude of the uh, different points of your region of interest then you can easily uh, add coordinate of your own the other way is for example we might not know every places the exact location so it's difficult to navigate to the place of interest because we might not be familiar to the place the systematic way is you you go to that uh, save file of the place and uh, click in properties and if you look at this extent you can see a pair of data over here so from here you consider the first pair as x1 y1 the second pair as x2 y2 then form four pairs uh, x max y max x max y min x min y max and x mean y mean and arrange these coordinates accordingly and afterwards you can go to the website and add coordinates of your own okay so after uh, enclosing your region of interest uh, you need to uh, provide the cloud cover we want to make it as low as possible there is no particular uh, rule uh, at what percent is required but normally uh, 5 to 20 percent of cloud clover uh, is used okay so so after you are done with the uh, cloud cover then uh, you need to provide the date of which day do you want the uh, data okay if randomly I want to put the date uh, this 2010 to say 12 12 2020 okay after you have uh, inserted the date then go to this data sets tab and there are multiple choices and there are lots of uh, data actually so uh, you you just go to that uh, data you need for example I did land cover so I expand the land cover and select particular ones so if I want Landsat I just expand Landsat and so on you could uh, expand the particular data and uh, start selecting it say I want Landsat collection level 2 or maybe Landsat said I'm randomly picking this okay it depends upon uh, which date you need uh, either historic data or current data you can click on this uh, collection info and you can get the detailed information about each type of data okay just like this so after you are done with it uh, you click on results now you can see uh, the data has appeared and there are a lot of data you can see the ID of data the acquired date and the path and row information okay so if you click on the thumbnail then the 
metadata of the image will be displayed you can see the information of image when it was extracted what was the satellite and all the other information about the data is available here okay and you click on this footprint then you can see the extent of the uh, uh, data file uh, in which our region of interest lies okay so if you for downloading the data you just click here that this is there is a download option uh, you click on the download option and you can see a lot of data here so you can download them individually or download them in the bundle it's not that difficult task but uh, make sure that you have to uh, have an account in earth explorer and after you are verified uh, then only you can download the data so the, the uh, account creating process is not that difficult so you can easily create your own account and afterwards you can download the data and uh, this method is applicable not only land cover data but all other data information uh, that that are available in the free domain that could be easily downloaded with a similar process thank you very much for watching